Greetings, my fellow eagles and the entire world. This is Eagle Emmanuel Mensah, with inspirations and guidance from Eagle Alad Mensah in the unseen world, coming into your homes and your minds with a message of empowerment and enlightenment. Today is the 8th of August in the year 2024, and the Bible says we should rejoice and be glad in it. And for that matter, I take this opportunity to invite the whole world to join me to give thanks to God for the day that he has granted unto us. And life in general, life is beautiful, life is wonderful, life is glorious, life is God himself, flowing through all things, including mankind. Today, I'm going to speak to you on the topic, speak and think as though you are and you will become. I repeat, think and speak as though you are and you will become. For the past days or weeks, I've been speaking about the power of thought. And I've related it to a lot of things, as particularly the, the, the personality of Jesus Christ. Today, we are going to look at the power of thought and how we use the power of thought to make ourselves or to unmake ourselves. In this world, only a few people understand that thought is the beginning of everything. Only people actually think about their thoughts. Thought as, as a topic is not something that men and women want to listen to or want to talk about. But as a matter of fact, that is the key that is the bedrock of everything that we have become and we will become in the future. The whole universe came into existence due or out of thought. Everything that we will ever see, everything that we will ever experience are all the product of thoughts. And it is because men and women understood the power of thought, and therefore they took it from the right perspective. Many men and women, most if not all, are not living life that they can call their own life, but they are living life that has been prescribed by others. They are living, organizing their life according to what others have given to them. But they themselves, do not use their mind to think and to receive or to even, yeah, to think of how to create their life. And so today, my duty here is to awaken you. And it is my prayer that within these 20 minutes, I'll be able to say something that will ignite the spark in you, such so that you begin to become conscious of your own thoughts. Thought is simply what we generate when we think. And every human being on earth here is thinking. Even when you are asleep, you may not be thinking consciously, but unconsciously you are thinking. But we are looking at a conscious thinking. Every human being, whenever you are awake, whatever you are doing, whatever you are going through, you are thinking about it. And all that you are doing is generation of thoughts. And the thoughts that you will cast upon every circumstance, every situation in front of you, will define you, will either make you or make you. So when you are in a fire, if you have the ability and power to deny and look at the fire in a different way, you will walk out of it safely by the power of your thoughts, as a matter of fact. In the same, in the same way, if you are in a safe place, and you look at your life as something that is very that is very insecure, that is unsafe. Even with all the security things that surround you, things that you are afraid of will come to you. That is a fact. And so thought makes and unmakes our thought mold and shape our life as human beings individually, and then collectively. Thought mold and shapes our collective life that we call world. And so, 
you are supposed to think as though you are. If you think and speak as though you want a particular thing, you will become that thing. It's a fact. It's a law that what you think is what you will get. What you believe in is what you become. What you perceive as true in your life is that will happen. And so truth, as a matter of fact, is relative. What some mom will look as true and call it painful, another person too will look at it as true and turn it into something different. And so it is about the perception, it's about the window through which we are looking at things. That makes it true to us. Anyway, and so we are supposed to think and speak as though we are. And as we do that, what we are thinking, we will become, will be transformed into that thing. And so when you look in the Bible, Bible, the Bible speaks about faith, and especially Apostle, uh, Apostle Paul wrote extensively about faith. And in the book of Romans chapter 4, verse 17, he spoke of Abraham being the father of faith. And in that verse, he said, God, Call things that are not as if they were, and they came into existence. And so in the beginning, in the Bible, as we know, there was nothing like a tree. There was not, nothing like a sea. There was nothing like anything that we see that we call our world or our universe. But they were not in existence. But by faith, God declared them into existence. So God saw them as they wanted them to be in his mind and he declared them into existence. And we are told that we are the incarnate. We know it by fact that we are the image and the likenesses of God. We are God incarnate on earth here. And therefore we operate or we act in accordance with the operation of God. And so if God declared things that were, God saw things that were not in existence as if they were and declare them into existence by the power of thought. Then you and I as human beings, we have no any other way of operation than the same way that God operated. And therefore you are every day declaring things into your life. Circumstances and situations will appear in your life. But it is your divine right and your responsibility to qualify them the way you want it. And if you think over the situation, even though it may be painful, it may be horrible, it may be sad, but if you think over it as though it is something beautiful that you want to create over it, you will become that thing as time goes on. That is a fact. But if you qualify it that it is painful and therefore you, 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 you deserve sympathy or you resign to your fate, in that way, to, your thought will help you to become that, and then you continue to destroy your life. And so, we are supposed to look at things from the positive side. And the positive side is to think things as if they, they are. Even though we are not seeing them momentarily, we are supposed to see them in our mind. Imagine them, create these images in our mind, and see them as real. And as we do that, we declare them into our lives. We declare them by our works. And so faith is simply taking things that are not in existence and using your power of thought, dwelling upon it and making it happen in the outer. It calls for determination. It calls for persistence as a matter of fact. And so you can take a, a chair and sit down and ponder over your life. There are a lot of things that are not going on in your life. But you have accepted them that that is the truth. Yes, there are a lot of things that are not happening good, are not happening well, or things that are happening in our world that are not good for us. We take them as the truth. But the fact is that that is not the truth we want. And therefore, you do not declare that as truth in your life. But you declare the truth that you want. And that is the opposite of it. And that is how God created heaven and earth. That is how God created everything. And that's all of us creating things because we are part of God. You see? And so you are supposed to think and speak as though you are a billionaire. 
right now, even though you don't have millions, you don't have even a dollar in your bank account, but think and see yourself. Speak to yourself as accomplished man, as an accomplished man or woman, as a world resource human being who has everything in his or her life. And as you do that, you declare the things that are not visible into, uh, in the eyes of men and women into existence, and you will become that. So what you think about is what you will become. What you believe to be true is what you become, as a matter of fact. You cannot believe in poverty and get riches. Never. You cannot believe in poverty and become rich. You cannot believe in prosperity and become poor. This is true. You cannot believe in health and become sick or to get a bad health. You cannot believe in sickness and get good health. That is a fact. And so everything has or has its basis on belief. And belief is taught. And so we are our life. Everything that we are going through, everything we are doing, is governed or is governed by our thoughts. And what we qualify our situations, our circumstances by is what we will see, is what we will become. And so you see men and women, we have established some basics that that is the truth. The world is bad. The world is going this and that and that. And so we emotionalize this. We think about these things as our truth. And then when our thought manifests in, the, in our life, then we turn around and say, you see, we are saying this all the time. The enemies are at work. People don't want me to succeed. People don't want me. But as a matter of fact, you are seeing that in your mind and you are speaking to it. So if you don't want it, speak the opposite. That is, speak or think and speak as though you are and you become. You don't have to have millions of money to believe that you are a billionaire. You don't have to have billions of dollars in your bank account to believe that you have the ability to become a millionaire. But you have to think about it and dwell in that and see yourself in that state and you will become. So long as you continue to qualify your situation, you continue to identify yourself as a poor person, as someone who is disadvantaged, as someone who is short-changed, so shall it be unto you. That's a fact. But if you can turn around and believe, act on the, on the principle of faith, that I do not see things in my life, even though right now things are not the way it's supposed to be. I don't have the billions of dollars in my bank account. But I know by the power of God, and all things is by thought. Therefore, I am molding and shaping my billions and dollars in my bank account. And as I dwell in this mind, as I dwell in this mentality, as I dwell in this mindset, I will be coming in the same way. You see, our life is like how we, we, we guide plants. You can put a plant in a container, and then when the plant shoots out, let's say, yeah, and you want it to go in a certain direction, you put a stick there, you put this plant on it, the creeping plants. If you put the plant on it and you begin to guide it, you, you give it the direction, you want it to go left, you want it to go right, you want it to go up, you can guide a plant by simply giving it a direction and it will go and become exactly as you want it. In the same way, our life could be like into water and a flowing river. You can actually take this river, create a new path, give it a new direction. You can actually turn it into tubes, use this water to move and do all kinds of things by the same water, but you are giving it direction. And that is how our life is. You cannot give a direction towards poverty and become rich. You cannot. That is never true. And that is how you think and believe about your life. How you think and believe about life in general. You see, if you have poverty consciousness, you will become. That is why you are thinking. You are thinking as though things, uh, there is scarcity in the world. And you will become. But if you have prosperity consciousness, you will become it. So to be successful, to be rich, to be, to be in abundant or to have abundance or abundant life is not about having the things necessarily in your bank account or around you, but it's a way of thinking. It's a way of 
think in the same mindset. And as you dwell and you guide yourself in this mindset, the laws and the forces in the universe organize and bring these things to you effortlessly. So you see people who are practically doing nothing, but they are rich. They are making it in life. And what we do is that we, 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 we lambast them. We condemn them that they are fortunate, that they are this and that. But that is not true. There is no shortage. There is no scarcity in the world. All we have is in abundance in the universe. But it is only our ability to think momentarily as though we are what we, are, we, 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 we desire. And when we think along that side, along the, that, that particular thing, and believe and walk in it without doubting, then we will grow, naturally grow to become it. And so, think as though, think and speak as though you are and you become. Think as though you think and speak as though you are a millionaire and you become. Think as though, think and speak as though you are a billionaire and you will become. Think as though, think and speak as though you are the greatest man in the world and you will become. Think and speak as though you are a prominent person. You are this or that, or that. every good thing that you can ever desire, imagine as your desire and believe and dwell in it. It will become because you are in the incarnate of God and God all the things that are not as if they were, and they became physical things. In the same way, you must call things that are not as if they were, or as if they are, and they, they will become physical things in your life. Right now, you are at the bottom of society. Right now, no one knows you. You don't have to concentrate about where you are now, but what you have to concentrate on is what you want to be. Begin to do things that you want to be, even in your own small way. Begin to act, begin to speak, begin to think in alignment with that thing. And as you do, you grow. You naturally grow to become that. That is a fact. And so think as though you are and you become. It's a universal truth. It's a universal truth and a law that governs all human beings. And it is all by the thoughts that we generate. How do you define yourself? How do you see yourself? How do you see yourself in relation to all other people? You don't have to compare yourself with any other person. You don't have to compare yourself with any other person. That is competition. But you are supposed to look at yourself as a true human being, created in the image and the likenesses of God, with all resources, everything that you need to make, to, to make yourself a prosperous one. And it is only when you dwell in this, you mind your own business. You mind your own business and think and emotionalize, think and dwell in this. So that all that other people are still doing, other people already have, doesn't worry you, doesn't bother you, but you rejoice in their success. Then, sooner than later, you also grow to become like that. You see, so the world we live in, our life, is a psychology, is science. And once we begin to, or once we identify the science and understand the science of living, we will make it big and big and big. No one is actually taking what we're supposed to have. There is abundance. There is no scarcity in the universe. So the one who is already rich has not taken what you, you deserve. The one who is already healthy has not taken your health. The one who has any other thing has not taken what belongs to you that there is scarcity. Everything is in abundance. But if you have the power and ability to see yourself as being that and declare it into your life and it will become. For you are after the likeness and the images of God. So think and see and speak as though you are and you will become. That should be your mantra. That should be your motto. Anytime you sit down, whatever situation you look at, tell yourself, this is just temporarily. And that is what the Bible tells us, that our where current afflictions are bad for a moment. Whatever you are going through is for a moment. It will pass. And therefore, what the situation will pass into is what you have to do. Your life right now is old news. You are living what you have already created weeks, months, years ago. Therefore, if you want your future to be good, then you need to declare what you want to experience in the future. And that is thinking and speaking as though you are and you will become. 
Life is so wonderful. Life is simple. Life is not complicated at all. As observed by my dear and late wife, Eagle Helen Mensa, that life is not complicated at all. And, and that is true. It is indeed true. Life is not complicated. When we understand the laws of being, when we understand the laws of the universe, we gain power, we gain control over all things and circumstances, and we become masters of circumstances. We move, we thrive, in, even in all adversities, because we know how to be deliberate creators. That is my message for you. That is my encouragement for you. Now, whatever thing that you are going through, you may not be having money, you may not be having that, you may not be having all the things that all other people are having, do not worry yourself and do not actually envy them. Envy those who already have, but bless them and be happy for them. But the fact is that you are the one sitting upon the flow of these things into your mind or into your life through your, your thinking. Change your thinking. Look at things as if they were, look at things as if they are already in existence. They are already in existence in the non-physical world. And as you do that, you declare that non, those in the non, uh, non-physical world into your existence. That is a fact. And so, my encouragement to you is that all is not lost. You still have the power and ability. It does not matter your age. It does not matter who you are. It does not matter where you are. You can be in the remotest part of the world and still make it and still turn the whole world to you if you have the power and an understanding, the knowledge and understanding to know that your thoughts are creative, your thoughts are powerful, and thoughts are things. Everything that you are designing are in your mind, and they are the thoughts that are flowing through you. And that is the Savior, the Christ, that is always knocking the, do the doors of your mind, seeking higher expression to elevate you, to move you, to take you from all lower level of existence to a higher level of existence. That is my message for you. I do not have much time to ex expand on this, but I believe and trust God. I believe that within my spirit that this will touch you and you begin to become conscious of what you are thinking, what you are daily declaring into your life. Do not look at life circumstances right now as the truth. And even if it is the truth, that is not what you want in the future. Therefore, look for a different truth that you want in the future and think and believe in that. And that future will be real to you. Now, may the overshadowing presence of God that keeps the stars in the open such that they do not fall on us. The laws of the universe that keeps the planets in their various orbits that they do not clash with one another. Lead and guide you and direct you. Open your mind and illuminate you such that you become awakened to your indwelling powers. Take control of your mind and know that your thoughts are powerful. Your thoughts are things, good or bad. Therefore, dwell on the good ones and the good ones will manifest. You will declare from today going, see things that are not as if they are already in your life and you will become. Ah, that is the truth. Think and speak as though you are and you'll become. God bless you. Have a wonderful and a beautiful day.